So video ito, I'm gonna share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can use the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. Tapos I'm also gonna share a quick discussion on ano ba yung DeFi or yung decentralized finance. Tapos yung Web3, okay? Paano ba siya nag-work? Okay, so if that is something that you're interested with, make sure you check this video out. Hi guys, Yuplo here, and I got this request like way, way uh, days ago, okay, by CJ. So, request sana pakigawa ng video about crypto DeFi wallet. So, yeah, so it's been a while na gusto kong gumawa ng video about the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So, here it is, okay? Tapos, um, before ko explain step by step yung crypto.com wallet or yung DeFi wallet. So, I'll explain ng mabilisan ano ba yung DeFi or decentralized finance. Tapos, ano ba yung Web3 application? So, if you're already familiar with that, so you can skip, okay? You can skip, you just click the timestamp down below. You can check the timestamp down below, okay? So, yeah. So, ano ba yung, uh, ano ba yung DeFi? So, first, para ma-understand natin ano ba yung decentralized finance, alamin muna natin yung centralized centralized finance, okay? So, an example what would that would be yung banko, okay? Yung bank, yung banko, okay? So, what you do is you deposit your money, okay? Tapos, yung bank, it's a centralized entity, meaning sila, sila lang yung nakakaalam sa mga transactions going inside the bank, okay? So, sila lang may sila lang mga hawak ng lahat ng mga transactions inside the bank. So, it's called centralized. Tapos, it's also called a custodian account. So, meron kang custodian account, meaning... Yung, yung, yung pera mo, you put it in the bank, so the bank is actually the one keeping your money, okay? So it's a custodian account. So sila yung may hawak ng pera mo. So basically, they have control over your money. So isa sa mga, they do, isa sa mga ginagawa na sa, sa, sa pera mo is that they lend it, okay? They lend it to other um, borrowers. So basically, you, you konti limited lang yung control mo with your money inside the bank, okay? So you deposit it in a centralized entity, Tapos custodian because they're the ones who's taking care of the money for you. So yung DeFi naman on the other hand, okay, it's like having your own piggy bank, okay? So instead of putting your money in the bank, yung, yung pera mo is you, you have control of it. So you have it parang piggy bank, okay? So what you do in DeFi or decentralized finance is mag-save and invest ka, okay, using a decentralized finance wallet or DeFi wallet, okay? And then ito, this is what you call self-custodian, okay? You have self-custody of your of your uh, of, of your assets example your crypto so meaning ikaw yung may hawak okay so basically the banks can't do anything about it kasi ikaw, ikaw yung may hawak eh okay so you have control over your money you can invest it you can you can save and invest pwede mo siyang i, pwede mo siyang ipautang okay kasi you have the money eh so pwede mo siyang i-save invest ipautang okay so anything financial related you can do that and you can do this through what you call mga web3 web3 applications or mga tinatawag nila na dapps or d apps or decentralized applications okay so ngayon mabilisan lang ano ba tong mga web3 application or yung mga dapps so ganito para maintindihan natin yung web3 so dapat alamin muna natin yung web1 web2 and web3 so sa web1 basically like you're going to create your account so maglalagay ka ng email mo tapos yung password so you create your account sa web2 naman this is all about social media na so as long as meron kang social media account that is web2 Sa Web3, i-coconnect mo lang yung wallet mo. As long as meron kang DeFi wallet, connect mo lang, and then that's it. They don't need your information. They don't need anything about you. As long as meron kang co wallet, connect mo lang in this Web3 wallets. Okay? So basically, yung Crypto.com mobile app, this is a centralized custodian wallet, meaning they hold your crypto cri cryptocurrency. They, they have actually control over your assets. Tapos, you, they need your information, okay? They need your name, uh, details, okay? So basically, may control sila, okay? They can trace you. Tapos, they can basically like block you anytime. They can freeze your account kasi it's a centralized entity is centralized entity tapos on the DeFi wallet naman this is uh, decentralized finance this is non-custodian you hold your keys you hold your and tawag nito very important na recovery phrase which i will show later so basically they cannot touch your assets inside your crypto.com DeFi wallet so yan yung uh, yan yung difference between the crypto.com app and the DeFi wallet tapos by the way if this is the first time you're hearing about the crypto.com mobile app so i have a complete walkthrough you can check it out. Tapos pwede ka rin mag-create ng account in the Crypto.com mobile app para ma-experience mo rin yung Metal Visa card nila if you can use my referral link teopilo.com slash CRO. So you could also use that one. Okay? So ngayon, um, alam na natin, let's now, let me show you a step-by-step -step guide kung paano ba mag-create 
Uh, tapos ano ba yung meron sa DeFi wallet, crypto.com DeFi wallet. So basically, uh, you can just download this uh, this application in in Play Store, okay? Tapos, yeah. Tapos, ito yung gagawin mo. You can just create a new wallet, okay? Create a new wallet. If meron ka ng existing wallet from other DeFi, pwede mo rin gamitin. So another other DeFi wallets, are example, would be yung Metamask, okay? Trust Wallet. So basically, if meron kang accounts doon, you could also import, okay? import yung mga assets mo dito sa crypto.com DeFi wallet. So, pwede ding gano'n. Anyway, uh, for this video, I'm gonna show you uh, paano mag-create from scratch. So, ito, create a new wallet. Tapos, once you create a new wallet, very important na i-back up mo yung secret recovery phrase. Okay? Secret recovery phrase. So, itong secret recovery phrase, this is your private keys. Okay? So, uh, kapag merong makaka-access nito, okay? Pwede ding ma-access nila yung crypto mo. Kaya, very important na isulat mo to you you put this down on paper, okay? So what I do is, nilalagay ko siya sa paper, never put it in Google Drive, never take a picture of it, never ever put it in the internet, okay? Kasi once people will have access to this, patay, <laughs> pwede na makuha yung mga crypto assets mo. So, yeah, yan yung disadvantage with having DeFi kasi ikaw yung my control, so you need to take care of your assets, okay? So you need to save your secret recovery phrase. So ito yung secret recovery phrase. So, Iba-iba, but usually it's a 12-word phrase. So this is like one word, another word, third word, okay? So example would be fish, fight, finger, parang ganon. So um, you need to write it down in paper, okay? In paper, ha? Not in Google Drive or whatever. Tapos, uh, once you na, na list down mo na yung secret recovery phrase mo, okay, so dito, they're gonna confirm if tama ba yung, 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 yung nasulat mo, okay? And they're gonna confirm. And after that one, ayun, um, naka you've already created an account na. Okay? So, once meron ka na account, you can name your account. Tapos dito, pwede, pwede ka rin maglagay ng NFT, okay? To, to anong tawag nito? Parang profile picture mo lang sa, sa wallet mo. Okay? So, with that, yun, meron ka ng DeFi wallet. So, as you notice, for in creating a DeFi wallet, they don't need your information. Walang name, walang email, walang uh, address. Okay? Kasi, the, yung goal talaga ng DeFi is parang anonymous ka, anonymous. So, basically, parang you control your data pa din. Okay? You control your data. Okay? So, yeah, yan yung advantage of decentralized finance. But the disadvantage then is, ayun, you need to be responsible, especially yung secret recovery phrase mo. Okay? So, once you log in sa DeFi wallet mo, this is how it looks like. Okay? This is gonna be your dashboard. So ngayon, let me give you a walkthrough inside the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. So basically, this is the dashboard. Tapos ito yung main menu mo. Okay, so this is the wallet. So dito, this is where you can see all your assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, your Crypto.com coin or Kronos coin. Okay, dito makikita mo yung balance. You can send and receive uh, send and receive uh, cryptocurrency. Tapos, uh, very important din dito. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, this one, dito yung mga NFTs. Okay, so meron ka rin, uh, you could also store your NFTs inside the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. So dito sa NFTs, actually, as of this video, meron na silang, you can store your Ethereum NFTs, Kronos NFT, and Crypto.org NFTs. Okay, so by the way, uh, explain ko na mabilisan ano tong Kronos. So Kronos is actually a sidechain in Crypto.com. So I don't know if... Uh, medyo jargon na to, but basically it's a side chain in crypto.com wherein pwede na silang they can now they can now do uh, smart contracts okay so smart contracts so yeah medyo jargon but i'll probably create a future video about that one but basically dito sa chronos this is where you can experience uh, decentralized finance because of chronos okay so uh, by the way then yung crypto.com nag rebrand la yung coin nila instead of crypto.com coin they are now called chronos coin okay chronos Coin. So, nag na din kasi sila. Okay, kaya CRO. Okay, anyhow, anyhow so next would be dito sa menu is uh, yun yung wallet. Okay, so yun yung wallet. Okay, this is wallet. Next would be buy. So, basically, inside the crypto.com DeFi wallet, you can also buy cryptocurrency. However, you can only buy cryptocurrency if you connect it with the crypto.com application. So, pwede mo rin siyang i-connect yung DeFi wallet mo with the crypto.com uh, app. Okay, so yung centralized application. So by doing that, pwede ka dito pumunta sa settings or basically click itong button na crypto.com, uh, connect to crypto.com. Okay, ito. Once you connect that one, basically just follow the instructions and makoconnect na yung, makoconnect na yung crypto.com app mo with a def DeFi wallet. And if you connect it, uh, yung, yung advantage is that it's very easy na to transfer from your app to your DeFi wallet. Okay, kasi sa DeFi, you, this is where you can experience some decentralized finance. Sa crypto.com app naman is like, 
uh, yun niya, yung Visa card, okay? So, in fact, uh, nandun yun sa walkthrough, you can check out ano yung nandun. So, mas mas mabilis na you can transfer back and forth sa app to the DeFi. However, yung disadvantage is that since connected na yung DeFi mo with the uh, crypto.com centralized okay so matetrace ka na okay so basically matetrace yung account mo matetrace yung identity mo if you connect yung crypto.com uh, wallet mo so but yung ginawa ko is i connected okay meron akong connected na na account meron din akong hindi connected na account okay but anyhow so yeah yun yung yun yung advantage and disadvantage of connecting it okay so once you buy so basically uh, lahat ng details na nandoon sa crypto.com app mo you can use to pay or buy dito sa DeFi wallet Okay. Next would be the swap. So skip muna natin yung browse kasi nandito yung juicy part okay, or yung exciting part. Sa swap naman, basically like if meron kang mga assets like uh, USDC, i-convert mo, i-convert mo siya to Kronos okay, or a CRO coin. So pwedeng gawin dito. Okay. Tapos ito yung pinaka-exciting part which is I believe is still currently in development. So meron ng mga different blockchains. Okay? Meron ng different blockchains. Meaning, uh, meron kasing iba-ibang blockchain eh, like blockchain sa Bitcoin, blockchain sa Ethereum, blockchain sa Binance Smart Chain. Okay? So, basically, I believe in the future, using the Crypto.com DeFi wallet, you can now uh, you can now connect from different blockchains. Okay? So, let's say you have an asset in Kronos, you can convert it to an asset in the Binance Smart Chain. So, parang ganun. Or from Kronos, you can convert it to the Ethereum Smart Chain. Okay? Uh, Ethereum Blockchain. Okay? So anyhow, this is very technical. I'll probably reserve a future video about this one. But basically, dito, uh, this is like swapping. Like, meron kang CRO, convert mo, to, convert mo to Bitcoin, okay? And whatsoever. Okay? So, this is the swap. And then, next would be the earn feature. So, in the Crypto.com app, meron din silang earn feature doon. However, lately, parang they are decreasing the interest na makukuha mo. So, in fact, meron akong video, you can check out. Uh, I was earning like 6% interest per year in my Bitcoin, okay? You can check out the vi that video. However, ngayon, parang binabaan na nila yung interest per year. So, I believe right now, it's 4% interest per year na lang yung interest in your Bitcoin. So, pinababaan na nila kasi in the DeFi wallet, okay, meron kasi mga pwede kang makapag-experience ng higher returns. Okay? So, example nito would be VVS, which has around 42% uh, APY. Um, this one, Atom, 17%. CRO dito is 12.1% interest per ano. Tapos, very important to take note na since this is DeFi, you will be needing gas fees. Okay, gas fees. So, ano ba itong gas fees? So, basically, ito yung gina binabayad mo every time you do a transaction through the decentralized finance or in the blockchain. So example would be VVS, kailangan dapat meron kang CRO coin for for gas fees. For itong SUSD, C, SUSD, I believe this is Ethereum blockchain. So dapat meron kang Ethereum in your DeFi wallet to pay for gas fees. For Atom naman or Cosmos, dapat meron ka ring Atom um, atom in 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 your wallet to pay for gas fees. That's why if you're going to ask me if you're a beginner in in DeFi and you want to explore DeFi, stick muna with CRO. Okay? As long as meron kang CRO or Kronos coin, you can use that coin for for gas fees. Okay? So yeah, this is for the earn feature. Next would be the browser. Ito na. Okay? This, dito muna makikita yung mga dApps or mga Web3, Web3 application or mga decentralized applications. So when you click the browser button, makikita mo yung popular. So these are all the, the list of all dApps that are popular, okay? Tapos, however, very important to take note na this is a mix of different blockchain. So, ito, VVS, this is a Kronos blockchain. Uh, Kronos, Kronos, Kronos. This Uniswap is Ethereum blockchain, okay? OpenSea is Ethereum blockchain. Uh, Aave is, I believe, also Ethereum. Tapos, ito, Pan PancakeSwap, this is Binance Smart Chain, okay? So, very important kasi to take note na iba-iba yung mga blockchain, okay? So, this is technical, okay? Uh, very important na Kung ano yung blockchain that you're interacting with, like ito, PancakeSwap, dapat meron kang uh, BNB or yung Binance Coin para makapag-interact ka dito. For ito naman, Uniswap, dapat meron kang Ethereum. Okay? So, para very simple, again, para very simple, if this is the first time you're hearing about DeFi, I suggest na stick ka muna with Kronos dApps, okay? Kronos or yung CRO applications or dApps. So, dito, as long as meron kang CRO Coin, you can, you can interact with all these applications. Tapos ito, very important, a word of warning. Ito mga dApps, okay? Mga decentralized application, okay? They are not related with crypto.com. 
And these are third pan third party entities okay that's why very important that you are responsible for the use of any dApps okay so again since it's DeFi you need to be responsible some of these dApps are legit and some dApps could be ayun pwedeng scam pwedeng kang marag pull okay kaya very important that you don't connect okay you don't connect kung ano anong mga dApps kasi once you connect to ano anong mga dApps pwedeng makuha yung mga assets mo okay so very important that's the risk of doing decentralized finance. So, yun nga, to simplify, pwede you explore dito Kronos DApps. So, let me show you some of the DApps that I'm currently interacting with. Okay? So, ito, Kronos DApps. Isa sa mga gina I'm using is ito, VVS Finance. So, they are, as of this video, one of the biggest DEX or decentralized exchanges. Okay? So, ano ba yung DEX? <laughs> Basically, pwede, ano, you can swap tokens you can swap cro token to another token you can swap from cro to vvs token you can swap cro and whatsoever so dito uh, since this is a uh, dex or decentralized exchange so ayun nga uh, walang third party tapos pwede kang mag-swap pwede ka mag provide ng liquidity okay so in fact meron akong video about passive income with cryptocurrency you can check it out i'll put the link top right of this video dun sa dun sa video na yun i explain ano ba yung how you can be a liquidity provider so instead na meron mga mga like like call financial okay yung crypto.com exchange yung binance okay they are centralized exchanges okay they are centralized so meaning yung kumikita ng commission would be the company however through defi yung mga liquidity providers yung kumikita ng commission every time magsaswap ka if you use the if you use this protocol kikita ng commission yung mga nagpo-provide ng liquidity okay so that is one of the defi that i'm currently using another defi that i'm also using is ito tectonic finance okay so they are a lending platform so instead of putting your money in the bank and the bank is letting uh, is lending your money okay why not you personally lend your money okay so, tapos by the way, ito kanina, ah, ito, connect wallet lang. So, as long as you connect your wallet, yun na, you don't need to create an account in VVS, connect your wallet, and boom, you can use that, you can use the application na. So, instead, compared with Facebook, di ba, kailangan mo pa mag-create ng account, create ng your name and email, whatsoever, dito wala na, connect wallet, and boom, pwede na. Same thing with Tectonic, okay, you don't need to create an account, click the connect your wallet, okay, so as long as meron kang DeFi wallet, connect your wallet, and boom, Meron ka ng account in Tectonic. You can now use the platform. So, dito sa Tectonic Finance naman, this is a lending platform. So, you can see dito, uh, you can lend mga assets. Okay? So, pwede mo siyang i-supply. Okay? Dito, supply. So, tapos, ito yung interest na kikita mo. So, medyo konti lang. Okay? Kasi most of them are stable coins like TUSD, DA, USDC, US, uh, USDT, USDC. Okay? Or example ito, CRO. So, you can you can supply. Okay? Pwede mo siyang ipautang and earn 9.87% interest in your CRO. Tapos at the same time, para kapag you lend it, meron din, you can also borrow. Okay, you can also borrow. So dito sa borrow naman, uh, you can borrow at 2.9 per 2.9 at 2.98%. Okay, so imagine mo, di ba? Sa 2.98%, you borrow TUSD as stable coin. So that is very, very minimal yung in interest to borrow it. Okay. So, however, hindi ka pwede mag borrow if you don't supply. So, yan yung kagandahan with Tectonic is that uh, you need to supply before you can borrow. Okay. So, this is to keep the platform secure. Okay. So, yeah, basically, this is uh, this is uh, decentralized finance. This is lending, yeah, lending protocol. So, but basically, if you want need to dig dive and um, dive deep into these this mga protocol so i could also create a future video para ipakita ko talaga step by step on how you can use these protocols so yeah those are the those are the what's inside the defi wallet you can have your wallet you can buy browser swap and earn inside the defi wallet okay so that is it that is how you can explore decentralized finance using the crypto.com defi wallet okay so if meron kayong mga questions just let me know in the comments section down below if ever meron kayong mga requests just also share it in the comments down below okay so yeah if you find this video valuable and helpful make sure you hit that like button for the youtube algorithm algorithm tapos click the subscribe button so you'll be notified kapag meron tayong videos like this one and if you want to start your passive income journey with me visit my website freedomlabph.com again that's freedomlabph.com and i hope to see you inside once again this is steve below create your desired lifestyle Bye bye